Nice to meet you again. This is Baishu, the Chinese language learning program. Last time we talked about the modest and honorific words in Chinese part two. Today we are going to finish the part three. Okay, this is also the last part of the modest and honorific words in Chinese. Uh, in this part, I'm gonna uh, explain each character. And you know, I will give you the meaning of the each uh, characters. Uh, but I have to say, just like English words, uh, many Chinese characters have more than one meanings. So in different contexts, they may have different meanings. So you have to know what their means are in the context they were used. Uh, that means even I tell you the mean of this character in this context is done the mean they will have the same meaning in other context I hope you understand what I'm saying okay okay let's uh, start our test text okay uh, first one is Guang Ho Guang Ho means wait respectfully Gong means polite, respectful. Ho means wait, respectfully wait. Okay, for example, 我们恭候佳音 我们恭候佳音 means we are waiting for your good news. 我们 means we 恭候 wait for or wait, respectfully. Jia means good. Yin means news. Yin also have another means voice. Sheng yin voice. But in this sentence, yin means news. Jia yin good news. Okay, next. Liu bu. Liu bu. Stay or don't bother to see me out. Liu means stay or keep. Bu means step. Keep or stay your step. For example, 请留步,不用送了。请留步,不用送了。I will see myself out, please. 请 means please. 留步,stay, please stay. 不, no. 用, use. 送 means send. Give, sent. In this sentence, it means send me out. Okay. So if you want to translate this sentence into the English directly, this will be please stay. No use sent me out. So I think people speak English usually say, I will see myself out, please. Okay. Next, Guang Gu. Guang Gu, visit. Guang have a uh, several meanings. Guang means light. Naked. Also, honor, glorify, or bear. B A R E. Gu means look. Or look back. Gu also have another mean means take care of, but in this sentence means look. Honor look means Guang Gu. So when you translate into English, you have to say visit. For example, 我经常光顾电影院和剧场。我经常光顾电影院和剧场。I go to the cinema and the theater a lot. 我 means I. 经常 means a lot, usually. 光顾 means go to or visit. 电影院 means cinema. 剧场 means theater. Okay, let's see the next. 凤环凤环 Return something with thanks. Feng 
means give, present, delicate, or receive. But in this sentence, it means give. Huan means return, give back, repay. Okay, so you can see it's give, give back. Just the same mean, but you still use this one, okay? Still means return something with thanks. For example, 我一定奉还我一定奉还 I will pay you back. This also can be used when you borrow somebody something and you will say 我一定奉还 That means I will give, you, give it to you. Back to you. Okay? 我 means I, 一定, will. 奉还 means pay you back or give you back or return to you. Next, 拜读. 拜读. You have the honor to read or I will read it respectfully. 拜 means res respect, visit, or worship. 拜. Do means read. In this context, by do, by means respect. Do means read. Okay, for example, 你的新书已拜读了. 你的新书已拜读了. I have re read your new book. 你的 means your. 新 means new. 书 means book. 已 make this sentence a past tense. Past tense. Past finished tense, okay? 拜读 means read. Next is 高寿高寿 高 means high, tall. 寿 means life, age, and, or birthday. So high age means 高寿. 高寿 is only used for asking old people's age. Okay, remember, this is only used for asking old people's age. You ask me, how old? Okay, for a thief, you can ask some people, if you, you think this people is over 70, you can ask 您高寿了, okay? For example, 您今年高寿您今年高寿 May I ask how old you are? 您 When you ask somebody respectfully, you can say 您 or not, not 你 But usually we use Nin for the people who have a high level, high level, uh, you know, your boss, your grandma, you know, your dad, your mom, and you know, the age is older than you, or they have the high, higher level than you. You can say Nin, but the same age or younger than you, you do need need to use Nin. Okay, this is respect, respect me. Another example is 我的外婆这星期八十高寿了 我的外婆这星期八十高寿了 My maternal grandmother is 80 years old this week 我的 my 外婆 means grandmother in mother side. So 外婆 means grandmother in mother side. 奶奶 means the grandmother in dad side. 这 means this. 星期 means week. 八十 is 80. 高寿了 is years old. The age is 80 years old. Okay, next. 
贵庚，贵庚 ，this one also ask for your age is just a regular, you know, you win. 嗯，请问你贵庚多少 ？What's your age? Okay, may I know your age? 贵 means expensive, valuable, attach importance, or love with special respect. But in this context, 贵 means respect, respect. 更 means age means I ask your age respectfully. Okay, for example, oh my goodness, 请问，请问贵庚多少？请问贵庚多少 ？May I please ask your age? May I please ask your age? 请 means please 问 ask 贵庚 age. 多少 ？What? How how many years are you? Yes. Okay. This is just、um, 多少 makes this sentence a question sentence, just like the question marker. Okay. Next. 贵姓？贵姓？贵 also um you know. The same as this way, it means expensive, valuable, respect, importance. So in this context, this is also respectful. Xin means surname. Means I ask you your surname respectfully. Okay, this means your last name, please. For example. 请问您贵姓？请问您贵姓 ？This means your last name, please. 请 means please. 问 ask 您 your 贵姓 last name. Please ask your surname. So when you answer this question. 请问您贵姓 ？In Chinese, you can say 免贵姓。什么 ？What? This, this because I'm Bai Xue, so my surname is Bai, so I I can say 免贵姓 Bai. Because my last name is Bai, so I say 免贵姓 Bai. If your surname is Li, you can say 免贵姓李。If your name surname is Smith, you can say 免贵姓 Smith. Okay, next. 贵府 or 府上。贵府 or 府上 means your home. 贵 the same as 贵姓贵庚府 means House. It also means government. Mansion. Okay. Shang is up. Above. The Fu Shang means your home. For example, 我可以去你府上吗 We not usually say that, but sometimes when we are kidding, we can say, 我可以去你府上吗 Is can I go to your home? 我可以去你府上吗？我 ，I 可以 ，can me 去 go 你 your 府上 home。Okay, next 寒舍，寒舍 ，my humble home。寒 means cold。Or、uh, humble. In this context, this means humble. She means house, but she is、uh, also have another meaning. For example, she, 舍弃 give up, abandon, abandoned. 
Okay, you, I don't give, I don't want it. I short chi, give up, I throw it away. It's short. But in this context means house, a home, my humble home. This only use my Hanshu means means your yourself my Hanshu my my humble home. You cannot say your humble home. You don't say that. For example, Huan Ying Guang Lin Han Shu. Huan Ying Guang Lin Han Shu means welcome to my house. You don't say can I go to your Han Shu? 我可以去你寒舍吗? You don't say that. You say 府上. This comes the uh, opposite person, not yourself. Okay? It's, uh, this one is opposite to 府上. 寒舍, 府上, they are opposite. Okay? 寒舍. 欢迎光临寒舍. Welcome to my house. 欢迎, welcome. 光临, visit, go to. 寒舍 means my house. Okay, next. 府正. 府正 means please make corrections. 府 means ask chopper. 正 means right, correct, or street. Okay. 府正 together means you make a correction. Correction, just like using the chopper or X. Okay, please make corrections. For example, 若有差错,请辅正. 若有差错,请辅正. This means please correct any errors that you find. 若 means if, yo means there is, if there is, cha means mystic, mystic or error, qing means please, fu zheng means correct. If there are wrong or there is, mystic or mystics, error or errors, qing please correct or make correction. Okay, next, Chui Xun means inquiry. Chui, um, this one ha also has a few, you know, a lot, um, a few meanings. For example, it means fall down, drop or hand down. It also means condescent approaching. Xun means ask. Xun means ask. Chui in this context means Condescent. I don't know if I pronounce the correctly. It's C O N D E S C E N D. Okay. For example, 电话垂询或私人造访恕不接待. 电话垂询或私人造访 Shubujiedai means telephone inquiry or personal visit will not be acceptable. Dian Hua means telephone. Chui Xun means inquiry. Hua means or Si Ren means personal. Zao Fang means visit. Shu means not. Shu means please. Bu no. Jiedai means acceptable. Okay, um, this is uh, all the part three we needed to finish today.
Today's idiom is 如鱼得水. 如鱼得水. 如 means like. As a 鱼 means fish. 得 get. 水 means water. This means feel like, feel just like a fish in water. This idiom is usually used to describe someone performs very well in a certain situation, make, making it seems like that they are meant to be in this environment. For example, 他在新公司如鱼得水. 他在新公司如鱼得水. 他 means he, 在, in, 新 means new, 公司 means company or position, 如鱼得水, like fish in water, he went to his new position like a fish in water, ok, 如鱼得水, ok, that is all for today, 谢谢, 再见。